Okay, it's time to have some fun. Just got my Davis weather box and I'm here to set it up today. I want to show you all the equipment. So here's the equipment package right there. It's got the ISS. That's the integrated sensor with all the equipment on it. That big white compartment there. You can see the anemometer to the top and the wind vane. It also has a great data logger. It is wireless and it's solar powered. So this is going to be up in my backyard. I'm going to transmit it wirelessly to my computer. It gets all the data logged on my PC, then sends it up to the internet. And also I have a smartphone app that I'm going to set up with this too. So sounds complicated. It's going to be simple. I'll show you in the next few steps. Okay, to set the ISS up, put the equipment on, it's really simple. We have a wind vane, anemometer, rain gauge, battery in its closure compartment, and then a little debris catcher for the rain gauge. I already put the anemometer on. It just simply slides over a little post at the top here. And then you have an Allen wrench it's supplied that tightens that anemometer. The wind vane is just as simple. You just take it here and there's a little O-ring on it. You slide it onto that post there. We're all done with the wind vane. Rain gauge, just as simple. This unit here, tipping bucket rain gauge, you slide it under a lip at the top of the component here, and then you close it down and tighten it with a set screw, and the rain gauge is all set. And then you've got your battery. The battery is a lithium battery that just goes in its compartment right here. It'll slide into the compartment, and then there is a set screw that goes on to this. So there's the closure right there. We'll turn it around, pop it in, and we'll screw the set screw on here. And then when you do that, you should be seeing a little LED light that lights up here that shows that it's transmitting. And then finally, the top of the unit there where the rain comes into, there's this little debris catcher. It's got four little nibs on it. You just push it down and in, and that's all set in there to keep debris from collecting and getting through into the rain gauge itself. So that's the setup. That's really simple. Now we're um, going to go outside and we're going to put it onto its post and set up the software as well. And we've got the unit outside now. It's just been mounted to the top of the pole using the enclosed U-bolts, lock washers, and nuts. And I've set it up so that it's pointing to true north and south. And it's operating nice. Now we'll go inside and see how the software works. And now it's really simple just to open the WeatherLink software and set your station up. You can do a new station, open a station, do a lot of things with database files and even set up Weather Underground for your reports. The setup file or tab is where you actually do everything. And I suggest the easiest way to do it is just go through a walkthrough. Again, it's very simple for you to set everything up. Once that's set up, you're going to be able to look at your data. And uh, that's also just a really easy thing to do. So we'll go right here to our notebook and pull up my recent data that I've got here. So. You can graph it, you can do all sorts of other things with the software, so it's, it's fantastic, so enjoy. One other note here regarding Weather Underground, if you want to port your data up to Weather Underground, you go online and it's very simple, you go to a link and you download the DLL file, Weather Underground, but it puts it into the downloads directory, and you must make sure that you move it here to the Weather Link directory, and I'm going to go there and show you under expansion modules and weather link, there is a weather underground link, the DLL file. If you don't put it there, it's not going to work. So a one important bit of information, it's in the instructions, but a lot of people miss it. And the last thing to do is download the phone app for your Davis station. This is fantastic. When I got my Davis station, they actually had a barcode on there. I just scanned it with my phone it went right to the apps page, downloaded the app, and actually loaded my station in. If you don't have the barcode, you can go in and just put your station ID in there. And sure enough, you'll find it. And there it is for me. I can find it from anywhere in the world. I can go and find out what's going on in my own backyard. So, enjoy!